This series is about my sixth Ford Ranger. I've owned six of them over the years. And they were all the same. Long box, V6, fleet. The fleet Rangers never had all the bells and whistles. It was just a truck. That was all I wanted. My first Ranger was a 1984. Then I got an 87. Then an 89 then a 93, and finally a 2007. This is an image of my 2007 Ford Ranger one day before it was sold with 194,000 miles. And here it is setting next to the new Ranger, the 2022. It was special ordered as a super cab, six foot one inch box, vinyl floor, cloth seats, mud flaps and the rear seat delete. Ford Rangers have never been blessed with good headlights and this 22 is no exception. Now the one mistake I made on my 07 Ranger was I put LED headlights in and because the bulb on the 07 was high and low beam I ended up with a problem in the winter time or in fog that even on low beam it was so bright and white that I simply couldn't see anything. So with this truck that it has separate high and low beams I'm going to keep the yellowish low beam for driving in snow because living in northern New York we get snow and I'm going to use the high beam for spotting deer because I had close encounters with three deer during the life of the 2007 Ranger. Now these headlights are the GTR Ultra 2 LED lights. They are about 6500 Kelvin. They're, they're quite white. There it is in the box. That's the headlight. And then you've got the little control box, the amplifier or whatever it is that, that runs the thing. Then You've got to have some dielectric grease. And then that right there is the cover that goes over the headlight. And finally, the original light bulb. So to start off, I took the bulb and I put dielectric grease on the rubber seal to make sure that it was going to be waterproof. And also I put it on the white cover. And on the right-hand side, or it'd be the driver's side, but if you're standing in front of the truck, it's the right-hand side. That one goes in fairly easy. Left-hand side, you've got to remove the snorkel. That's the easiest way to get at the headlight. So you got to take the, the two screws out, and then you grab a hold of the snorkel, and you pull it forward and then pivot it up, kind of up and back, and it slides right out. Then it's a fairly easy job to pop that light in just the way you did on the other side. Make sure you got all the O-rings greased up and then you just have to put the snorkel back together. So with both headlights in, all I've got to do is install this down in there. Get that to slide in like that. And then the screws should align, which they do. Then you just got to tighten it up with a big screwdriver. Now right here it is obvious that the light on the left is the LED and the light on the right is the quartz iodine low beam. It is yellow compared with the 6500k of the LED and that's the way I'm going to leave it because I want to be able to see a little bit in snow. This truck does not have the fog lights because it's an XL and I, it was just a beer can edition fleet. That's what I wanted. So by not having the LED low beams I would not have the problem that I had with the 07 that to get the good high beam so I could see something I had to put up with not being able to see in fog or snow with the low beams. 
Now this next clip is showing the low beam and then the high beam clicked on and then back to low beam. So you can see there is a dramatic difference in lighting the road and that's what I was after.